Hi, welcome to this micro learning session on DDI exemplars. So an exemplar is the perfect sample of what you want your students to complete. It's not just an answer key, it's a sample of that product that you want from your students. An exemplar will show that deep and visible thinking and the steps that are used to complete that problem or the task. So it can be created by you or your student and it's gonna help you plan to the depth and complexity of that TEEP. For math, it can show more than one way to solve a problem and check your answer. For reading and science, it shows a deep understanding of the text, maybe through an application or an experiment. So an exemplar should set the expectation for high quality work, and it should align with the show side of your no-show chart. Since a no-show chart is created with your teeks and your field guides in mind, then you know that your exemplar is gonna be aligned to your standard. In creating a teacher exemplar, start with your end in mind. You're gonna use your exemplar to show and model your thinking in response to a question. So an exemplar should have the correct answer, keywords, any strategies shown that you've taught your students, and it should also have some misconceptions that your students might have and questions that um, you might wanna ask them to help deepen their thinking and understanding of the TEKS. So some questions you might ask yourself when you're creating your exemplar might be, what does a student need to know and be able to do to master the standard? What are the keys to an exemplar answer? And how does that exemplar response connect to the standard? So here's an example of an exemplar in science. So it starts with a show column of the no-show chart. Correct answers are only a part of what students should demonstrate. We also want to know how they got that answer. So this slide shows strategies such as the formula that they would use and where to find that formula. And it also should show their work in order for you to see any errors in their calculations. Keywords and academic vocabulary are so important for students to know and understand. In order to solve this problem, they have to know the meaning of mass, volume, and density. Questions are more effective and deeper when they're created ahead of time and you've thought them out. Also, when you're aware of, aware of misconceptions students might have, you're able to address those misconceptions before they become an issue with the student. It's so much easier to teach a concept and teach those misconceptions than to have to go back and reteach it. So a strong exemplar allows you to design lessons to the depth and complexity of your TEEK and sets high expectations for your students. When you're analyzing student exemplars, you can use it as an instructional tool before or after independent practice or assessment. Before the lesson, you can show your students a sample item and how you solved it or answered it. Point out everything you wrote, use all the strategies that you've already taught them. After that you've graded your student work, you can show them the exemplar and have them code their paper for everything they did that matches the teacher exemplar. And they can even get points for each of those. You can display student work as, as the exemplar after getting their permission. You can use student exemplars to identify gaps in their work as well. This helps you know what you need to target and reteach for those students. Some questions you might ask yourself while analyzing the exemplars might be, how does the student exemplar compare to the teacher exemplar? What's the gap? Or does the student exemplar even offer something that yours doesn't? Do students have different evidence to demonstrate mastery of the standard? When you're creating your teaching plan, keep all of these steps in mind. All of these data-driven instruction steps will help ensure your students are getting the best instruction based on their needs to help them all achieve success. Thanks for listening. Please check out our other microlearning topics.